Welcome to Byte Further. Today, we're going to talk about how to fix iPhone 13 touchscreen not working. Apple smartphones are great alternatives to Android phones, but they aren't perfect. As a highly pursued iPhone model, iPhone 13 also has its fair share of touchscreen problems. Here's a list of common issues for iPhone 13 touchscreen not responding to touch. You do an update to iOS 17, but finally find iPhone 13's touchscreen is unresponsive and won't let you unlock. Your iPhone 13 touchscreen is not working properly because it sometimes doesn't sense your finger touch, where the keyboard only recognizes after you tap or press two or three times. The display doesn't give responses after pressing the side button and volume buttons. What's more frustrating is that your iPhone 13 screen doesn't work intermittently or in some areas after dropping. Don't worry, we can help get you back up and running. What causes an unresponsive touchscreen iPhone 13? When a touchscreen stops working, it could be as simple as a dirty or wet screen. If the display is clean, then your iPhone 13 might be suffering a software glitch which makes the touchscreen unresponsive. It could be a temporarily bug, which can be easily fixed by a fresh restart. It could also be a deep system error, which you'll need to solve via doing an update or a restore. Furthermore, your iPhone 13 touchscreen won't work can be due to that the touchscreen digitizer or other hardware has failed. How to fix iPhone 13 touchscreen not working? Let's start with the simple stuff, and then dive deep into the advanced steps. 1. Keep touchscreen clean and dry. Shut down your iPhone 13 first. Then, remove the dirt or debris from the display using a lint-free cloth thoroughly and carefully. If there is a liquid on the surface, dry the screen. Also make sure your hands are clean and dry. Once done, turn your iPhone 13 back on with the power button on the right. Now, try tap, swipe, or press and see if your iPhone 13 screen works and responds to touch. 2. Remove screen protector and phone case if any. Screen protector is a nice option to prevent your iPhone 13 screen from accidental scratch. Though, if you buy one with low quality or use it improperly, it could render issues. One of them is that iPhone 13 touch screen is not responding to touch intermittently or in some areas. If this is your case, shut your phone again, then carefully remove the screen protector. If you also have a phone case on the device, take it off too. Once done, turn your iPhone 13 back on with the power button on the right. Now, try tap, swipe, or press and see if your iPhone 13 screen works and responds to touch. If your iPhone 13 display works again, then replace it with a new screen protector with high quality or consider not using one. 3. Force turn off iPhone 13 to refresh the system. Apple has claimed a solution to fix an unresponsive screen on its support page. That is to force restart your problematic iPhone 13. We'll show you how to do that exactly here. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Then press the side button and hold it for around 10 seconds. Your phone will shut down first, and later the Apple logo pops up on a screen. Just let go of the side button. You can go through the same instructions to fix a touch screen that doesn't work on iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. After the device boots up and shows the lock screen, unlock it. See if your iPhone 13 touch screen works and responds to your touch and tap now. 4. Install the latest iOS version. Use an Apple MFI certified cable to plug your iPhone 13 to a computer. Next. Open up iTunes or Finder software. They're only available in a PC and Mac. You might ask why use a computer? Because you might not be able to access the settings app to do the update manually because the touch screen is not working on your iPhone 13. This time, updating iOS through a computer is an alternative. All you need is to put your iPhone 13 into recovery mode. Rest assured that it's safe. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds keep holding the power button even when you see the Apple logo screen. When you see a computer, a USB cable, and a link showing up on a black screen, release the power button. It's a recovery mode screen. Now, go back to the computer and take a look at the iTunes or Finder screen. A message dialog box should have popped up, where there are two buttons, update and restore. Click the update button. There are still some steps in the following. 
just do what it asks you to do unless you see it starts downloading the latest iOS software. You can see the download icon on the top right corner is active and circling. Wait and you can click the download icon to see the status of the procedure. Once it's done and your iPhone 13 reboots, touch the screen to see if it works smoothly and responds properly. Last resort is to reset iPhone 13. This step restores your device to its original settings, and you'll risk losing all your personal data if you don't have backups. We'll still show you how to do that. And again, only take it as your last choice. Attach your iPhone 13 to a computer and run iTunes and Finder. Then, enter recovery mode. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the power button and keep holding it until you see the recovery mode screen like this. Next, go back to the computer and take a look at the iTunes or Finder screen. From the dialog box, click the restore button. Finish the on-screen instructions and wait for your device to erase. When your iPhone 13 boots up to the hello screen, the unresponsive touchscreen issue should be fixed. If your iPhone 13 touchscreen still doesn't work after performing all the steps here, it may be time to take your device to a professional for repairs. That's all how to fix an iPhone 13 touchscreen not working. Hope this video can help make it respond to touch, tap and swipe. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.